Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I've got an idea for a Valentine circuit. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first step, of course, is to switch to circuits. If you've never been in Tinkercad, make sure you choose Sign In with Google. Once you get in, we are going to create a brand new circuit. Friends, step one is to name it. We're going to call this LCD card. We're going to make an electronic greeting card that we can share with people, and it saves resources. The first thing I want you to do is click on starters, and I want you to find the Arduino starters. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to find the LCD. When you bring it in, click and set it down. It takes a moment to get loaded, and then you can scroll back so you can see how this is built. It has got code built in, which is fantastic. It's got the Hello World library. I used to make you go find this. Friends, today we're going to just play with it. Alrighty, friends, so let me show you how this works. If you hit Start Simulation, it takes all of this awesome code, and it says Hello World on your screen, and it counts the milliseconds. We're going to change that so it does what we want. The first thing I want you to do is to change Hello World to Yo, 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 and hit Start and you can see how easy it is to adjust the starting code. Now the next thing is we're going to adjust this loop. Right now it is printing on the screen, which is what Yo-Yo-Yo was, but it's printing the milliseconds divided by a thousand. So every second is being put up on the screen. We're gonna change this to instead do a poem for Valentine's Day. All right, friends, so the first thing we have to do is we have to stop the simulation. I'm going to stretch this out a little more so I have more room to show you this code. I'm going to zoom in on it as we change. So we're using two lines and we only get 16 characters. We're going to press enter after this semicolon. So you got to make sure it keeps this brace and we're going to type on the second line so we have a second part of our message. The command we're going to type is LCD dot set cursor with a capital C. Then we're going to put parentheses, 0, comma, 1, and parentheses, and then always end with a semicolon. So that's how we're going to get to the second line. Then we're going to print again. Make sure you copy the semicolon, and you can do Control V to paste it. And I'm going to change this now to say happy, and then here I'm going to say Valentine's Day. Now we got to make sure that fits 16 letters. And I think I'm going to get rid of the exclamation point here. And now, friends, when we hit Start Simulation, we can hide the code and check it out. It says Happy Valentine's Day, but that little character is showing up on top. I'm going to show you how to fix that. We will hit Stop. And let's right now just make it so it pauses for a second. We're going to press enter after the semicolon. And I want you to type delay, so D-E-L-A-Y. And then we're going to do space, parentheses. And I'm going to tell you 3,000 is a decent number. And then make sure you add that semicolon. That's essential. Start simulation. We can hide our code. And watch, now it says Happy Valentine's Day. It fit by one character, which is awesome. And then once again, it starts counting on top. Now we're going to fix that by creating our own code. Stop the simulation, hit the code button. We're going to go to the very bottom. Below that blast brace, I want you to press enter and I want you to type void. And then space and we're going to do capital CLA, which means clear all. Then we're going to hit the space and then we got to type both parentheses and press enter. At this point, we add the starting brace. This is above the enter key. You've got to make sure it has that squiggle. We're going to press enter to go to the very next line. And then I need you to type LCD dot set cursor with the capital C and then the parentheses zero comma zero and the semicolon again. Press enter after that. And we're going to type LCD dot print. And we're going to do those parentheses and we're going to do shift quotes. Make sure you don't do two single quotes. And then you need 16 blank spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All we're doing is replacing what was on the screen with spaces. And then hit our quotes, hit our parentheses, and then, of course, end with a semicolon. This is how you write code. You're making progress, friends. 
Now we need to do this again, but we're going to do it on line one. So grab those two lines, do control C, press enter, and can do control V. But it's got to be to line one. Double check your code. If you get this wrong, it will not work. So make sure you are super careful. And then friends on this line, I want you to type delay parentheses. Let's use 1000 parentheses. And as I've said once or twice, you have got to end with a semicolon. Press enter. And we need to end with that curly brace. Now when we close our code and hit play, now friends, let me show you how we're going to use that code. Go back up to where delay 3000 was, press enter, and we are going to send the CLA code by simply typing CLA, notice I got the capitals, and then do your two parentheses and your semicolon. Friends, because we've got this clear, now when we hit start and hide the code, check it out, Valentine's Day totally clears, and then the counting comes back. So we're close to having our digital card. Here comes the next piece. We're gonna stop, we're gonna go back to the code, we're gonna change this LCD print. I'm just gonna delete it. I'm going to instead copy from LCD print all the way down to the CLA. Make sure you've got those exact chunks. Control C, go down here to where that line used to be, and we're gonna do Control V. We need to make a cool poem. I'm gonna do real simple. I'm gonna do roses are red, and then I'm gonna do violets are blue. and I'm gonna change the delay to 1000. And then when we hit start simulation, now we get happy Valentine's Day with a pause, and then violets are blue. Now notice this pops up and repeats, which is awesome. Let's see what we messed up up here. If we go back to our code, the only thing I need to do is change the set cursor. So this was set for set cursor 01, we want to do 0, 0 for the first line and then 0, 1. Now when we hit start simulation and hide our code, there's our happy Valentine's Day, the pause, the screen clears, roses are red, violets are blue. That fits. Stop the simulation, go back to our code, and now the challenge, friends, is I want you to have at least three paragraphs of your poem. It's this easy. Make sure you're in the loop. Make sure you go down to the brace and press enter so you've got a gap. You don't want to lose that brace. It breaks everything. I'm going to delete this line because we already know what that does. And that puts all of our code together. We have got the set cursor, the set cursor, and our two phrases. I'm going to copy them, control C. I'm going to move down one and do control V. And now we do the second line of our poem. And now I've changed these to my second part of my phrases. Let's hit play and hide the code. And friends, I will show you what I made. Happy Valentine's Day. Roses are red, violets are blue. This code is fun and so are you. Now, if we hit stop, that disappeared a little too fast. So let's go back down here and change this last part to delay 4,000 and delay 2000 so they stay on the screen longer. Now, now your job is to create a poem that has at least three lines. You need to show me if you're in my class. Friends, if you make one of these for somebody, this is how cool it is. You can hit send to and you can create a share link and you can ship it to them. All they have to do is sign into Tinkercad, which we all know can sign in with Google, and then boom, they'll be able to see your virtual electronic greeting card. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. You have now used Tinkercad and some code to make a sweet digital card that you can send to anyone. Friends, you can also, after you've made one, click the little gear and duplicate it so you can make custom cards for everybody in a snap. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, also, if you have a question or comment, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.